Well, I think the way forward for interaction with technology is what I call enchanted objects. And these are ordinary things that just have a little bit of AI. So it's this umbrella that was on the cover of my book, inspired by Frodo's sword. Does anybody remember what Frodo's sword did in Middle Earth? Exactly, it glows when orcs are nearby which is nice to have a sword that can anticipate its own use, right? So I made an umbrella at a company uh, called Ambient Devices that just glowed when rain was nearby. And you might say, well, that's sort of, you know, who, who really needs that? We watch TV to get the news. We, we have apps for the weather. But that's exactly my point is, why do we have to watch the, the, the news for, for weather? And why do we have to look at an app? Don't we just want the information at that decisional moment, just as, that, just as you're walking out the door and you want to know, do I need the umbrella or not need the umbrella? Um, because there's such a shoe industry here, I had to put in Dorothy's magic teleportation shoes, which I think were mimicked by um, Nike uh, uh, in terms of embedding an accelerometer in a shoe so it could tell you how far and how fast you've run. We had a fun um, breakfast this morning with some of you, and we were just brainstorming on other tech that you could put in shoes. And one of the ideas was if you have an accelerometer in like a soccer cleat and it knows when you've kicked the ball, it could give you like just a little video uh, of, that, of that goal moment from the shoe's perspective. You know, these, these sensors are getting so cheap that you can embed them in ordinary things. And in my book, I go back to the stories of my own youth from the Brothers Grimm or Hans Christian Andersen or, you know, that had all of these enchanted objects in those stories. You probably have your own stories of flying carpets or invisibility cloaks or crystal balls that would anticipate the future. I think these stories are interesting because they reveal things about us. Not exactly what objects we should create, but what psychological drives we should try to satisfy as product inventors. You remember the, the mirror that would reveal the fairest of them all. Well, a, a company that I'm helping in New York is doing just this for, for um, Neiman Marcus, which is a high-end um, department store. So it's a mirror that also captures your image, and it's a screen behind the mirror. And then if you gesture to it, it shows you recent outfits, so you can see what's the most fairest outfit of them all, and also how does your ass look. But I think this is powerful because it's an, it's an everyday experience, it's an everyday, you know, there's a lot of square inches of, of mirror surface in the world. So why not enchant it? We also have these trash cans around uh, Cambridge that, all, that have a piece of solar on the top and they compress the trash and then they only call the trash trucks when they're full, right? Nice, right? As a city, as a piece of furniture for the city, you only want to pay the expensive union guys to pick up trash only when it needs to be picked up. But it's just an ordinary thing that has this little bit of enchantment, just this little bit of connectivity. I brought this pen today that I've been using called the Anoto pen. It looks like an ordinary pen, but it has in its tip, there's a camera. So it looks at everything that you write and stores every gesture and can upload it to Evernote or whatever. And it also has a microphone so it can record the lecture or the, or the negotiation that you're doing. But it's also a pen and it can write on you know, anything you want. But I just want you to consider for a second, what does this mean for pen companies? It means that the pen is no longer an object that you sell, but it's a service, right? It now, now pens need a cloud. They need a cloud to store the data. Now they need search. Now they need optical character recognition. Now they need all of these technologies through, through either a partnership or through building it themselves.